Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities, or Git Futal behind the camera, and we are looking at a way to heat the kiddie pool for Kelian using not sunshine, but compost heat. Now the temperature down here in the water right now is 28 degrees. That's not bad for a hot summer day, but some days it's too cold to get into the pool at the temperature that's coming out of the normal hose with the cold water supply. And using hot water that is heated by electricity or natural gas costs too much for the everyday job of filling the kiddie pool. So what we're going to try to use is compost heat. Uh, to show you though that even in the evening we still get heat, and that's the thing. Here the sun is going down, so obviously a solar hot water collector will stop producing heat. The photovoltaic panels are stopping producing electricity. But the bacteria in a compost heat, they're not dependent on the sun on a daily level. They're dependent on the sun, obviously, for the grass and the other biomass that they use. But once you feed them, they work 24 hours. And to give you an example, I just take this hot water pipe coming out of the composter and we'll take a look at the temperature of the water that's coming out. And we see 42, 43, so it's pretty darn hot coming out of the composter. It's actually burning a bit. So between 41 and 42, that's a nice hot shower. Mm -hmm. coming out of uh, 24 hours a day out of grass clippings. So the idea is to exploit this heat. It's being produced all the time. And as you can see when I open this up, the heat is coming from just from grass. So it's um, certainly a self-perpetuating system. I'm using the styrofoam just to keep a little bit more insulation, but this is well insulated up here. And it's also self-moisturizing, as you can see. So, you, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. it smells really so once warm. again, I'm going to hook this back up to the tank. Let me try to get rid of the air bubbles. We're using these 53 watt Siemens panels that our neighbor donated. So here's one 53 watt panel, here's another 53 watt panel, then there's a 10 watt panel in between. So all told about 110 watts, 100, and wa 100 watts, and that's what we're going to use to run the 12 volt pump because it comes out at 18 volts. And the pump is connected to a um, a bottom skimmer so that we can get to the bottom of the, uh, the water in the pool along with a filter so that no leaves or grass or anything gets into the tank. And then it comes over here into the bottom of our hot water tank. As you can see here, it's 48 degrees right now inside the composter. And that 48 degrees that's inside the composter is taking cold water down here from the bottom of the hot water barrel, putting it through two radiators inside the composter, and then coming out heated up here so that when I measure the temperature in the tank, you see that we've got 35 degrees. So that's bath temperature. But the average temperature in here is now 35 after two days of sitting there. And that's because the temperature in here, as you can see, is fairly hot. Just at the top here, we're at 38, 39, 40 degrees. And the deeper in the pile I go, the hotter it gets until it gets well over 50 degrees down in the center. So we're using this to heat the water. All we want to do now, since we've let two days worth of heating, getting this from 25 degrees, which is the temperature the water went into the tank, over two days up to 35 degrees, which is bath temperature. Now we want to take the cold water from the kiddie pool, pump it into here, into the bottom, and take from the top the hot water and fill the kiddie pool with the hot water that we have. 
So, now that the sun is shining, we'll turn on the pump. We see here that the temperature outside today is 33, but the temperature inside the composter where the radiators are is, wait for it. Oh. What? I have... Wait, it's going to change in a second. Okay, yes. It's 50.6 degrees. So that's what we're getting inside the compost bin at the radiator. And it's a lot hotter outside the radiator. As again, that's taking the cold water from the bottom of the tank, passing it through the radiators that are in the composter and up to the top of the tank. Now we're pumping water from the pool into the bottom of the tank, pushing the hot water out and into the pool again. Good.